Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 27. And in this tutorial, I want to speak to you guys about forms in JavaScript, okay? So if you guys don't know what forms are, I do explain in my previous series. Uh, I've got a couple videos on forms and all the elements that we can put inside of a form, okay? So if you guys don't know what that is, then go back and watch that series and you'll be good to go. But if you do know what forms are, then uh, this is what we're going to be making in this tutorial. Okay? So we've got this program here and it asks for your name and when you type it in, so if I type in my name Quinton and I click done, then it writes welcome Quinton onto the screen. Okay? And let's say I typed in my brother's name Jared then it would write welcome Jared so whatever you type in here is what gets printed out here okay so let's take a look at how to do that now the first thing we need to do is obviously put in all of those elements that you see here so I'm gonna move over this quite quickly but we're going to start off with a paragraph and I'm actually going to leave it empty but I'm going to give it an ID of welcome so this is the paragraph that eventually shows your name okay whoops uh, yeah okay so this is this is the paragraph over here but as you can see when we start the program it's not there it's empty so that's what we're going to do now that that's just our empty paragraph after that I have a form, a form, 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 okay, end of form, and inside here I've got two input elements, and I also have just like some plain text, which is what is your name, okay, and yeah, whatever, something like that, okay, after that we have our input element, so input type is equal to text and then I'll also give an ID and I set that equal to name okay so this is the ID we'll be using when we refer to this element and I also want to add in a break tag and after that I'm going to put in another input element input type of button and the value was equal to done okay so I hope I didn't move too fast for you guys but if we uh, save this now and run it in Firefox you can see that we've basically got the exact same program here so well it looks the same right now uh, this is the one that works and this is the one that we just made now which uh, if you type stuff in here now and you click done nothing happens okay so this is the one that's not working but we've got all of the uh, stuff done so long now what we need to do is work on the JavaScript okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a function and I'm gonna call that function write name okay and that's exactly what this function is going to do. It's going to write whatever we put in this element onto this paragraph. Okay. So what I need to now, what I need to do now, is make this paragraph a variable so that we can work with it. And then I also want to make this input element into a variable so we can work with that as well. Okay. So I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call it welcome para and I'm going to set that equal to uh, this paragraph. So the way I do that is I use my document wow document dot get element by ID method and uh, we obviously need to grab it 
by this ID here. So let's go ahead and just copy that and paste it there. And uh, that's basically how those two are linked. Now we need to go ahead and get this next input element here. So I'm just going to call it name and we'll just copy that because I'm lazy. And we need to grab that name over there. So we'll copy that and paste it there. Okay. So now we're getting we over here, this line. Okay. We're getting this element by its ID. And then on this line over here, we're grabbing this element by this ID. Okay. So now we've actually got these two elements stored inside a variable and we can work with those variables. Okay. So what I want to do now, is I'm going to set the inner HTML of this paragraph to the value of whatever is written in here. Okay, so you guys know that um, a paragraph tag, because it's got an opening tag and a closing tag, then we can work with something called inner HTML. Now, inner HTML is basically whatever is written inside of the paragraph. So this stuff here over there, that is the inner HTML of the paragraph. Okay, so to work with the inner HTML of that paragraph, we're going to say um, welcome para, okay, because that is how we identify this paragraph now. And then we're going to say dot inner HTML and we can set that equal to something. So we're going to set it equal to the word welcome. Okay. Plus we'll concatenate whatever is written inside here. So whatever the value of this input element is. Okay. Now we know that we can refer to this input element as this variable here name. So let's go ahead and type in that variable name, but we have to access the property value. So name dot value and uh, the value is whatever's written in here. So you guys know that already. Okay. So now we've got this function all pretty and ready to go. But we need to call it somewhere. So on my button, whenever I click, okay, so we'll go on click, and that is an event, okay. On click, what do we want to happen? Well, let's call this paragraph or this uh, function, sorry, over here. So uh, paste that in and uh, put a semicolon, cool. Save this now. And now, when I go back to Firefox and click refresh, whenever I click on this button, it should write whatever I've put inside here. So let's uh, type in something like uh, just my name again, I guess. Quinton, click done, and it says welcome Quinton, but there isn't a space. So that's a quick fix. We just go ahead and put in a space inside here. Now, when we save this, go back here, click refresh. Now, whenever I uh, type this out and I click done, it says, welcome Quinton. And I guess whatever other name I want to put in here too, it would type that out as well. So welcome Sean. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that's actually all I have for this tutorial. So let me know if I move too fast guys, cause I don't know. When I look at this, I've already shown you most of this stuff. So I figure you should kind of know it by now. But hey, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys don't. So just let me know if I move too fast. And if I didn't, then uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to comment on my video. Don't forget to like. It's really going to help my channel grow. And uh, especially if you haven't done this already, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, that's all I have for you in this video. So I'll see you guys next time.